Hi everyone, Greg from Paris, back to give you a bit of a special or different uh, uh, video than what I'm doing usually. Hope you're well. Me, I'm recovering slowly. I'm not 100%, maybe 70, 80, I don't know. My nosing abilities because I got a cold uh, two weeks ago and it's a bit uh, complicated to get rid of. Especially we had some up and down uh, weather wise uh, so it was a bit complicated for me plus you know if you've read my community post please read my community post and not everyone knows that uh, uh, you can uh, watch on on YouTube channels not only videos and live shows but also read and see some pictures that sometimes are grouped with the, the text community posts which are free uh, to watch uh, to read uh, anytime uh, also, uh, often I post on, on this community pages things related to what I post on my Instagram. So if you don't have Instagram, this is a way to have uh, at least a bit of infos and short impressions about uh, my uh, news, tastings, uh, things, shows uh, where I went and also my uh, more uh, personal, if I may say, news, right? So yeah, tough times here, a bit uh, paused, but um, things are not completely, and they will not be because, well, I'm not gonna talk politics here. It is very complicated situation here. Anyway, I, um, I tested myself yesterday and I managed to get some notes of uh, uh, one of the whiskeys I will present you today. So and also, so I will just speak a few few words about it, tasting wise. But it will not be a proper review. Uh, all these will come. All these will be reviewed at some point. But as I tried it already uh, on a sample of the same batch, and I have my notes, I think uh, it could be more reliable, maybe for you. Right, so uh, in this video I'm not going to speak about blends because uh, I'm preparing several videos about it. I know it's long, I have a lot of things to say about a lot of things and uh, I cannot do videos every week, I, I told you that and also uh, it's getting hard in the summer to do tastings on cam and not on cam too. Uh, so please bear with me, be patient and for this video we're going to speak only about single molds single malt whiskey so for those who are not familiar distillate coming from one distillery only now uh, it was surprisingly uh, finally I'm not gonna give away too much now but what happened to enter my collection were uh, divided in two big families world whiskies, scotch whiskies, and even in those two families you're gonna see there's some theme. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to pause at several moments because I'm gonna try to show you things uh, a bit unusual and I'm not sure if it will work well so we're gonna move things. Uh, but yeah we're gonna start with the first whiskey. first whiskey is from a distillery founded in 2016 uh, it's a distillery I uh, have been um, discovering through where it is first this one which is open that I will review soon so it's uh, the spirit of Yorkshire distillery and it's uh, Filet Bay is the name of the single malt name of the brand uh, so it's a distillery founded in 2016 uh, it's not this one I've uh, acquired recently, but I'm going to show you after that. This is the flagship they call, which is the standard bottling of uh, the core range, uh, which I really like. Uh, first off, the packaging is gorgeous, let me tell you. As you can see, everything is taken care of, the cork the glass because it's not far from the sea uh, you have some seagulls there uh, it's a kind of if I may say English iron in terms of craft uh, and also it comes with uh, I hope you don't hear the fan but I cannot do without the fan comes with a nice box like that uh, which explain the process of uh, production in three stages 
So they have a, a commercial argument which is very strong, which is if you buy three bottles of this single malt, you might have the whole process uh, to be seen uh, in, in one uh, way, if you put the three boxes. Anyway, very smart. <laughs> So I bought this, which is fantastic. I really love this whiskey. This is pure dedication to malted barley, uh, to uh, kind of lowlands maybe uh, profile, not too far from King's Barnes. Now this distillery, uh, as I and this is the box of the other, uses a very particular uh, kind of double uh, column and pot still process. I'm gonna go further in that when I will. Uh, review the whiskey, which makes it a kind of Loch Lomond uh, style of, of whiskey, but in England. So uh, very, uh, very interesting. I have tasted seven expressions last year in a in a French show, for they they were coming for the first time in France. But I bought this recently. This is a bit more expensive. The uh, the flagship I've showed you is around sixty four and, uh, and a bit more. Uh, euros it's quite expensive for a young whiskey but the unfortunately the uh, the special the still core range but there's uh, five or six uh, different uh, uh, they're all good uh, but uh, I wanted to try this which is a pitted finish uh, which has some Kilhoman cask involved in there so you know I love Kilhoman so this is the uh, pitted finish and uh, yeah, looking forward to open this this year and review it. So I think now I can put that on the table and put this box of something else instead. So yeah, beautiful English single malt. I really love it. And I hope uh, we'll have some um, occasions to review it soon. I'm gonna pause because I'm gonna try something a bit risky. If it doesn't work as it is posed, I will go back to normal things. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back. It's a bit complicated, as you can see. Uh, a lot of reflections and uh, the paper is a bit glossy uh, and my uh, lighting is not the best. Apologies for that. What is this? This is a map uh, to and you guessed it next whiskeys several ones are French um, <coughs> excuse me um, yeah this is a map I uh, managed to win uh, if I understood well in a kind of a we contest like you have a lot in Instagram this is a map uh, presented uh, proposed by at home whiskey it's a French uh, we craft uh, company is a big word but uh, yeah it's a, a few passionate people about whiskey who um, uh, propose you this map that you have also to do some gratting work I uh, don't have the tool here but it to discover the whiskies you you pass the thing the wooden uh, kind of pen and you get to uh, discover the the bottles Maybe I should show you from close. It's a bit difficult. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, just a minute. I have to put this one back. Right. Uh, I know it's not perfect. I, I apologize. I hope it will stay a bit like this and not move. Uh, and uh, well, I, I will go back in more in details when I'll do a special French video. But uh, I'm gonna speak a lot about French, so. Uh, so introducing a few bottles from distilleries I already know um, and some of which I've lost track for uh, decades. Um, okay, let's go for the first one uh, that you already, some of you already know. Uh, I've already speaked about Armoric, which is uh, from Varangem distillery in Brittany. And if I see well, uh, well yeah this north uh, it's uh, north west not completely west so not Finisterre but Côte d'Armor uh, Varangem distillery hope you've seen a bit of it uh, with this single malt which I already had I have several ones 
uh, I already did videos in French and English about uh, the Varangium distillery and Armoric single malt, so I'm not going to go back uh, to history, etc. But it's a pioneer, just let's say the pioneer of the um, of the French whiskey. So uh, it means 1983, uh, and uh, for the first uh, uh, re um, run of, of uh, whiskey, and 1987 for the first French blend, the whiskey breton, which is a single blend, by the way, made of wheat and, and malt, and then uh, 1988 for the first single malt, which was armoric but bearing no uh, other name than single malt and uh, a clear um, clear label. Uh, so this is not the one I recently, and I even bought it, it was a gift from uh, the... Uh, oh yeah, I have first to to thank, um, of course, the, the game was put up by, by At Home Whiskey and Hassan in particular, uh, which I, I'm in contact with. So thanks, merci beaucoup. And uh, I couldn't have worn this and be aware of this without my pal in France, Cédric from Cédric So Whiskey, which has uh, an Instagram, uh, he's on LinkedIn and he's also in um, YouTube uh, in French usually, but uh, I've interviewed the, him in French in my channel. Uh, I did a live show with him and this is uh, the version that I got at Christmas. It was a gift from my brother-in-law who is from Brittany. So what is this? This is Legend, Legend, uh, as usual, and it's a good thing for you guys in English, you have the French explanation on the tube, but also uh, there is also an English text version of it. And it's the same on the back label. So uh, quite an interesting one for expert. Uh, and why I show you, sorry, the, uh, the other it's because i'm going to compare the two because the recipe is almost the same now the double maturation is 46 percent well this one is weirdly 43 percent and in the market there's also another version of this at 46 percent what the i don't know why this one is organic by the way a b when you see a b on a french whiskey it means it's Agriculture biologique, bio biological agriculture, so it means organic, right? If you come across. So, so I've already tasted this, but I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, but uh, what can I say? It's two years in Sherry Cask and two years in Chêne Breton, Brittany Oak from. Uh, from uh, Brittany, so French oak, but inside French oak, Brittany oak, not Limousin oak, for instance. Uh, so it's a quite oaky, caramelly whiskey, so quite nice, uh, sweet. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, the previous whiskey, uh, the English whiskey, and this one, this one is unchilled and uncolored. Unchill filtered for this one. Uh, no, I'm not sure. No, uh, the English whiskey is unchill filtered and colored. This one I was told is uncolored. Right. Just a second. I have to pause. Right. Next one is one of the most interesting French distillery I've come across last year, which I didn't knew at all. It's the. Uh, Artesia single malt is the name. Uh, yeah, I know it. it's written pure malt, but it is single malt. It's a French, uh, how can I say that? Bad habit, bit Japanese style <laughs> to uh, call that this way. Uh, but it is indeed single malt. It's from the TOS distillery uh, bearing, uh, TOS uh, is for the other side. Why the other side? It's because it was initially a brewery in 2003. Uh, it was a project by four people. We're gonna see there. Or oh, I'll show you that later on. Uh, and uh, this one is a kind of flagship. 
It's a craft whiskey, non chill filter, non colored, even if it's not written, but I'm in contact with the distillery, so I can tell. 45% ABV, I know uh, you're gonna see in a lot of French whiskies. Uh, it's probably the country in which there's the most difference between the ABVs uh, from a distillery to another and sometimes inside a distillery from an expression to another. I know it's weird, but it's you can see here 40%, 41, 42, 43, 44, and we're gonna have an example, 44 and a half percent ABV, 46, etc. It's, it's crazy all over the place, uh, ABVs. Uh, alcohol by volume. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, this and uh, a few other things from the distillery and other company. I uh, have the occasion to try um, uh, by getting samples from them uh, and also last year I bought this from uh, uh, which is for the f uh, French market, but you could still find it abroad, I think. But it was uh, designed, I understand it, by La Maison du Whisky, Fu Noir Char 3. Uh, so Fu is cask, Noir is black, Char, you know, it's the English word for brûlage in French. Uh, number three, so it's uh, quite high, but not the highest level of charring the cask. This is a delicious whiskey already reviewed in French and in English. Uh, this one is 46%. It's the batch one. So this I tried it through a sample and I was so uh, blown away by it that I uh, looked, uh, I contacted the distillery to buy the uh, batch, exact batch, the seven from 2021. Uh, last bottles, uh, they kindly uh, provided me uh, uh, when I did my order, uh, so yeah, I paid them uh, 50. Uh, by the way, yeah, 60 and, and a bit more for the Funoir. Where is it? Uh, yeah, gotta be. And for this one, it was 56 euros a bottle, and it was so good to be honest. I bought two uh, in order not to pay the uh, shipping. <laughs> And to make sure I have this, pro I might do samples, or I, I hope to uh, make it try to some people. Vieillir en fut chien means uh, aged in cask. It's kind of a uh, mandatory thing. Now, sorry again, it's a bit blurry and glassy, but this time we're in north, completely north of France, so close to Belgium. So it's uh, not it's from Arras. This is from Arras, which is not too far from Lille. Uh, this is really what craft is all about. These guys have the uh, technology to do great beers, but they also have the know-how to do gr uh, great uh, whiskies. This is the team, two brothers and uh, another friend. And the woman that you can see uh, close to me, Cathy Gravina, is no less than the, the distiller and, and the blender. And she does a fantastic job uh, there in every single whiskey I tried. There are also uh, other options, but I really want to uh, give credit to Cathy for the fantastic work she does. I'm very, imp very impressed. Uh, and I have to say that this distillery and uh, the spirit of Yorkshire are probably also something we're gonna see from uh, another country after but speaking about non-scottish whiskey distilleries and still in europe or kind of uh, frankly artesia and filet bay are the two most impressive single malt i had last year uh, they also la maison du whiskey also has some um Exclusive, not exclusive, you can uh, order them at the distillery as well online. This, unfortunately, I couldn't find it other than online at the distillery. I don't know if they ship abroad. Uh, maybe I should ask, or you can ask uh, on my behalf. Um, uh, very nice uh, website, by the way. What did I want you to say? 
Yeah, there's two version, two expressions that are more expensive. 99 euros, a bit too much in my opinion, but it's La Maison du Whisky. La Maison du Whisky uh, did um, uh, order them. I don't know if it's a word. Uh, anyway, they tailored for La Maison du Whisky, like kind of a bespoke, exclusive, store pick, call it what you will. Uh, port finish and sherry finish so you know they're good but this one is really impressive for me uh, and the uh, Fu Noir as well I have it in the glass I'm gonna try not to rely on my notes and give you just a few uh, first impressions if I may say I opened it yesterday again this fantastic a bit yeasty a bit rem reminiscent of um, of a, a, a lager, a beer, but it's pure malted barley galore. There's some nice vanilla, almost some coconut, and I mean this some sexy custardy thing. I like in the Philly Bay, but those two are a bit different. That's really appealing on on the palate. Mmm. Yeah, vanilla, bit of citrus fruit, bit of apple, mm. and this very sexy wrapping a bit, the, all the other aromas, kind of mid custardy, kind of custard, kind of almond paste, uh, uh, partly sugared, I don't know. There's something creme pâtissière in French. So it's just something related to pastry. I'm gonna try to um, open it up. So it's yeah, it's a wee review inside the overview. <laughs> Don't know if it's a good idea. Tell me if you find this idea of uh, covering uh, ten bottles and a bit more here, but uh, ten bottles once, uh, once, uh, twice a year, let's say, August, December, maybe. Mm. beautiful beautiful um i have rated i don't have my sample notes here do i have them no i uh, forgot um but this is fetching kind of 89 out of hundreds or a bit more something like that this is a fantastic whiskey for me i know fantastic is a bit uh exaggerate uh very 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 good let's say okay next is a distillery which have been uh bought if i uh, would have been taken over i think 2019 if i'm not mistaken uh, i might mistake there but it's a very old it's a it's a, a spirit brewery distilling Prayer to Whiskey Geneva, Genevre in French, Geneva Spirit, and they went into whiskey only uh, in uh, 1988. I have a very old bottle I forgot to pull out. Yeah, same packaging. So it's Vambrechy. Uh, again, as some others, uh, even Varangem uh, Armoric, uh, several founders of the French whiskey industry were coming from north of France and Belgium and this is the case here um, before I forget and you can't see anything this is a bit up north it's the northern we can do uh, with uh, Vambrechy so it's not too far it's 50 kilometers I think from Artesia the other side distillery and um, so the, the they took over the uh, the, 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 the distillery and repackage everything with the same as TOS as you can see so this one is a uh, Madeira cask matured as they say to see 44.5 what a weird ABV so this was a gifted bottle I have to say that's what I will put a commercial uh, indication uh, I asked for a sample and of course as usual with my conditions which is you have if i accept a bottle or sample uh, you have to accept uh, that uh, i will not publish anything if i don't like it at all 
I will publish everything I want, so unbiased, if I may say, uh, and when I want, so uh, detached from the news of the distillery releases, etc. So, uh, so I opened it before the heat wave, and I will retry it after. Uh, what can I say for now? It's gonna be a long review. Yeah, I know, as usual. Uh, how can I? 20 minutes? No, uh, it seems impossible. But I have more to say about French background distilleries than uh, of uh, the Scottish because you know them. Um, yeah, what did I wrote? Yeah, it's very, of course, Madeira speaks a lot here. Uh, you see the color it's i forgot to mention eight years old also unchill filtered and colored uh, it's floral fruity lots of candied fruit apricot orange peach there's some sulfur at the beginning but it's it's uh, it shows up a bit on the nose and if you air it it puts some air and let some 10 minutes let's say in the glass or uh or will probably it's because it's just open it's it's okay after that so so quite nice whiskey different from uh, the inchmarin for instance i might do a comparison with you though too which is really powerful and very uh, the madeira is very um, on the front this is a bit more discreet but it's it's a nice one too we'll review it in due course so i think there you have it uh i forgot to put the artesia on the table the other one and I, I love those bottles as well those guys knows how to do nice design uh, next and last french whiskey not in alphabetical order because i had to group the two distilleries is one from another region so i'm gonna now conduct you this is an interesting map it has around 40 distilleries uh, uh, um, forgot to mention uh on on it but there's way more now there's 130 and uh, around 80 82 operating and having a finished product so it's insane boom of distilleries in france at the moment and since only a few years when i started my whiskey journey uh, 25 years ago there were only five or six distilleries crazy boom england i forgot to mention there's around 40 or more distilleries now as well so there's a big boom of english whiskey unfortunately there's a lot of brands that cannot pass the channel and uh, be imported distributed in france uh, i regret that i know it's the contrary for you guys in uk for instance uh, about french whiskies but i have to tell you you have less excuses if i may say not to have any uh french whiskey on your uh collection because for instance the whiskey exchange has no less than 40 different bottlings sorry of uh, french whiskies and so it means around if i calculate it well 18 distilleries at least and I don't have, believe me, uh, 18 distilleries, uh, different distillery, French distilleries in my collection, around 10, 12 only. Uh, it's gonna change, but um, some are also, I have to say, expensive. Uh, Artesia, did I, yeah, I showed you the price, tell you the price. This one retails between 50 euros at the distillery and 64, 66, something like that, at La Maison de Whisky, yeah. I let you do the conclusion <laughs> uh, and yeah we're gonna move now to the west which you know well way more for cognac and armagnac uh, on the Charente region Charente is where you have the limousin uh, forest uh, limousin um, oak uh, yeah trying to summarize a lot of things in a small time so I bought this from the Berclou distillery founded in 2002 and do releasing whiskey since around 2007. Nice packaging, but almost no information on the bottle, except a bit very basic one on the neck. Uh, and also look, this is nice. Yeah, it has been damaged by the transport by myself, but supermarket single malt it's how 
it appears unfortunately comes across why do i say that i have no idea how it tastes i know the recipe is almost the same uh, so french oak maybe bordeaux it's not very clear barriques and then pinot de charente french sweet wine finish but i bought this way uh, in 2000 uh, from 2018 this one had way more and you see the stills yeah very special kind of steel this Berclou whiskey de malt uh, was way more as you can see uh, craft with a presentation with 47.8 and chill filtered and colored blah 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 uh, 4,000 bottles only uh, this is gorgeous but the problem is they have been uh, taken over by a small company here doing uh, lots of different spirits. I don't say it's bad. Uh, I've tasted some nice jeans they do, Les Bienheureux. So they're the distributors, but also bought the distillery. And uh, this is the first um, expression they have released since they took over. And uh, I regret the 40%, I regret the zero disclosing of information except the ABV and that is a single malt but uh, this one, uh, the other one was around 60 euros or so, this one is around 30, uh, a bit more uh, in the supermarket when I got it but uh, I wanted to try it to maybe uh, do review for more people than those who can get this. Um, Right, I'm gonna pause now to change the map <laughs> uh, and I'll be back, stay tuned.